Ode on Indolence They toil not, neither do they spin. One morn before me were three figures seen, with bowed necks and joined hands, side-faced, and one behind the other stepped serene, in placid sandals and in white robes graced. They passed like figures on a marble urn when shifted round to see the other side. They came again, as when the urn once more is shifted round, the first seen shades return. And they were strange to me, as may betide with vases to one deep in Phidian lore. How is it, shadows, that I knew ye not? How came ye muffled in so hush a mask? Was it a silent, deep-disguised plot to steal away and leave without a task my idle days? Ripe was the drowsy hour, the blissful cloud of summer indolence benumbed my eyes. My pulse grew less and less. Pain had no sting, and pleasure's wreath no flower. Oh, why did ye not melt and leave my sense unhaunted quite of all but nothingness? A third time passed they by, and, passing, turned each one the face a moment whiles to me, then faded. And to follow them I burned and ached for wings, because I knew the three. The first was a fair maid, and love her name. The second was ambition, pale of cheek and ever watchful with fatigued eye. The last, whom I love more, the more of blame is heaped upon her, maiden most unmeek, I knew to be my demon poesy. They faded. And forsooth I wanted wings. O oh, folly! What is love? And where is it? And for that poor ambition, It springs from a man's little heart's short fever fit. For poesy? No, she has not a joy, at least for me, So sweet as drowsy noons And evenings steeped in honeyed indolence. Oh, for an age, so sheltered from annoy, that I may never know how change the moons, or hear the voice of busy common sense. A third time came they by, alas, wherefore? My sleep had been embroidered with dim dreams, my soul had been a lawn besprinkled o'er with flowers and stirring shades and baffled beams. The morn was clouded, but no shower fell, though in her lids hung the sweet tears of May. The open casement pressed a new-leaved vine, let in the budding warmth, and throstles lay. Oh, shadows, t'was a time to bid farewell! Upon your skirts had fallen no tears of mine. So, ye three ghosts, adieu! Ye cannot raise my head cool-bedded in the flowery grass, for I would not be dieted with praise, a pet lamb in a sentimental farce. Fade softly from my eyes, and be once more in mask-like figures on the dreamy urn. Farewell! I yet have visions for the night, and for the day faint visions there is store. Vanish, ye phantoms, from my idle sprite into the clouds, and never more return.